Digital versus film photography is still a hot debate for artists and photographers, but many have embraced digital technology and used it to their advantage, including Long Island photographer Jim Johnson. Jim, welcome to Ticket. Thank you. So what is the answer there? Do we do digital, or what is your theory on this? Well, I used film photography for most of my uh, uh, photographic career, starting when I was 17 years old. Uh, and in the last three years switched over to digital for uh, a number of reasons. Uh, primarily cost. I can shoot a, a lot more photographs in the digital format than I can with a film format. Uh, and also I can archive them a lot better using my computer and, and uh, uh, that kind of thing. Now what about the process though of, of having them printed out? I know you're using something called a giclee printing process mm -hmm. and you're happy with that? It's as solid as regular photographic procedures? It's solid but it's different. Uh, the giclee uh, process uh, allows uh, the photographer to uh, come out with a product that almost looks like a piece of art uh, and it's um, it's much uh, uh, it's a little bit more expensive but the end product is far nicer I think most people like it a lot better than just regular photographic paper it almost looks like a painting yes it does and it has uh, the texture and feel of a painting also uh, the, the paper that you printed on that's correct you know, we should take a look because you brought you just came back from a trip to Newfoundland mm -hmm. where you shot how, how many pictures did you take while you were up there I shot uh, uh, 2700 frames while I was there oh my goodness and look at that that is just extraordinary uh, you look at that and you think it's a painting do you do any Photoshop work or any editing on the colors there is uh, some editing done on, on the colors uh, uh, some of the white balance is corrected uh, because we uh, don't see white like a camera sees white, so we have to uh, we have to make some adjustments. But technically, it's still a photograph. Technically, it's still a photograph. They are are just extraordinary. It's amazing to me what what you've done there. Thank you. Um, now you also you do the sheet clay printing, and I think one of the things we should mention about it is they are actually archive quality. Museums will take a print like this. Yes, many museums do use uh, uh, this process uh, primarily because the photograph itself using archival inks and the papers um, they're guaranteeing them from fading uh, as long as they're not stored in direct sunlight f for between 75 and 100 years mm. so they last a long long time and not only do digital photographers use them but also painters uh, they'll have their piece of work brought into a, a printer who will use a, uh, a scanner scan the uh, image in and make as many copies as you want, as mm -hmm. opposed to years ago when they used the lithograph process, a painter uh, would have to uh, print 250 to 500 because it was expensive. Uh -huh. Now he can, once the image is, uh, is uh, uh, in the uh, printer's uh, uh, computer, um, he could just make a phone call and order two or three mm -hmm. or whatever he needs. And it's actually, it's a spray. I know we only have about a minute left, but it's a sort of a, there's, it gets rid of the dot pattern. It's right. just it's a there, lot of There spray. is no perceptible dot pattern whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I want to show your next series, which is a golf course series you're doing. And you're, you're not photographing these as golf courses, but as landscapes. That's correct. Um, uh, I, I view these as, as works of art as I would any one of my other photographs and uh, uh, they have been, uh, been qu uh, quite successful and uh, many people really do enjoy them. Mm, they're gorgeous and uh, just br briefly where were those? What golf courses was that? Uh, one was at uh, Indian Island in Riverhead and the other was at Spring Lake in Middle Island. Mm, beautiful Long Island golf courses. Mm -hmm. Well I want to thank you for being here and I know we can go see some of your work at uh, a show called Local Color right at Gallery that's, North in Setauket. That's correct. And we'll have that through the middle of September. I mm -hmm. think it's also fascinating that in the daytime you're a police officer. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> yeah, well, you are really a, a fabulous artist. I'm glad to see you're using both sides of your brain. Thank you very much. <laughs>